Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on February 28th of 2024, going over all the events, as well as major changes, that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a ton of events to cover, plus a couple little nice quality of life improvements in the patch notes, so yeah, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps to grow my channel, you stay to date with new content, and we both win in without further ado. Let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And our first event is going to be, or our first event series, are going to be themed around guilds. First things first is we have a guild fair going on, where you as a guild leader can head on down to Valia here on February 29th and uh, pitch your guilds a new player. So any new player that are looking for guilds and want to get into them, you can head on over to the guild fair down in the uh, Valia region. Um, hit it up and uh, February 29th, you'll have an opportunity to talk to guild leaders and get in with all of that. Uh, the reason that you're going to want to do that is because our next two events are themed around guilds. So, first, there's a guild mission event where you're going to want to knock out as many guild missions as you can for some nice bonus rewards for the guild. So, if you haven't been doing guild missions or don't know what they are, it is the G key on the keyboard. And then you have the guild mission tab right here. Completing these challenges provides you with bonus rewards and items and all sorts of stuff for the guild, um, which are pretty useful and pretty nifty for, you know, advancing your, advancing your uh, guild and all that stuff. And the second reason that you'll want to do those is because there are going to be guild-themed login rewards. So, for logging in during the period while as a member of a guild, you'll get a bunch of bonus stuff. So, every single day you're logged in, a ton of bonus stuff in here. You can see, um, definitely, definitely want to do that. You can view your login progression on that under the escape key, reward. And then you will see the login reward tab, where you'll see the guild special right here. And you can see all the different items you can get. The next series of events here is for the item copy function in the game. And it's being reduced down to one Marnie fuel needed to do the item copy. So this is an awesome event if you want to try out different classes. Again, I've got videos on the gear tag system, so you know how to do it. But if you don't, it's this tag function up here. Tag with any one of your different characters. Transfer over all of your gear for a couple million silver now instead of hundreds of million. Uh, really nice system if you've been thinking about re-rolling or wanted to try a different class or try a bunch of different classes. Now is the time to find your new main, so definitely want to take care of that. We then get into the 8th Anniversary event series. So we have several events that are themed around the 8th Anniversary. The first one is a photo session. So there are two photo spots, one located in Velia and one located in Grana. So the two locations you see on the screen right here, taking a picture in front of those and posting it over to the community page here. Um, you will be entered in for a chance to win a bunch of stuff, including this absolutely adorable Black Spirit plushie. So definitely something you might want to go for. But we have other things like calendars, other little plushies, just tons of little stuff there. So if you're interested in partaking in this event, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely want to do it. Um, pick up some cool stuff there. Next up, we have bonus EXP events for the next week. And depending on how many seals are picked up, Seals of Sincerity, which is the event from last week, um, we could potentially extend this up to March 13th. So at least one week of 800% combat EXP, drop rate boost, life EXP boost, and skill EXP. Tons and tons and tons of EXP boosts here. So if you're looking to do something like AFK leveling or power leveling your character to a different level or life skill power leveling, now is an excellent time to do it. Infinite potion grinding, all sorts of great times to do it over the next couple of weeks here. Now, the next event is a meme event, which is hilarious, and I'm glad that they're bringing out this event because it's kind of funny. For anybody that's been playing Black Desert for a long time, people type phrases like Black Desert Anniversary into the chat, like, randomly just as jokes. Well, it's back again for a real event. Typing in Black Desert 8th Anniversary during the time slots that are specified up here will net you 200 crown stones within two weeks. They'll send it to your account. There's an additional bonus event going on. For the first 800 people that type into the chat at 11.30 a.m. on the NA region or 8.30 p.m. on the EU region, um, type that phrase in and send it into the chat at those exact times. This Sunday um, will be awarded with uh, with another bonus box as well. So um, I stream normally during this time period. You can watch the Black Desert stream. If you want to watch mine, I'll certainly be reminding everybody to smash that button as well during that live stream. So um, definitely something to, uh, to, to keep in mind. For some bonus stuff otherwise just remember to type in this into the chat within the next couple of days here you got about five days based on how these time slots pan out here the final event that we have right here is a, an event that is a like world boss type event so over by finto farm there's an event quest you can pick up completing the event quest will have you kill the boss killing the boss gives you a bunch of bonus stuff so for those of you that don't know where finto farm is it's just outside of velia so if we head on over here to velia the major city over here in velia you'll see the event boss right here so here's velia the town Finto Farm questline series picked up gift box boss that will spawn. A notification will pop up in here. A gift box has appeared near Finto Farm. We have spawn times that are located right here on the screen. So for uh, Monday through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But yeah, some pretty cool rewards from this. So if you happen to be in the area or want to park an alt over there to pick up these rewards, uh, something to think about. And with that, we can move on into the patch notes themselves. And the patch notes themselves bring a ton of stuff. First things first, the War of the Roses, the super endgame PvP content 
for hundreds of people against hundreds of people, getting some tweaks, some changes to the scalings, some changes to how you can revive your horses, some other bonuses along the way, reward distributions being more normalized, and all in all, some just general quality of life improvements across the board on it. Next up, the Guild League, which is the uh, Guild versus Guild PvP mode that you can queue up for, is getting some changes to matchmaking to make it a bit more balanced. So the tiers for the different ranks are being broken down a little bit more precisely, kind of different elos now, if you will, um, to aid in matchmaking so that you aren't matched against like stronger guilds. It's got an example of how guild matchmaking works and blah, 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 blah. But for the, for the most part, just kind of improvements to the matchmaking system. New arena has been added for that, so a new PvP map that you can play on. And then there's also some changes to the uh, scaling of how many points you get for a victory or a loss. So um, overall, some nice little quality of life improvements on that side, though. Next up, we have the condensing of a ton of different items. For those of you that have been doing your Dark Rift bosses for a while, you've probably piled up a lot of Latent Aura bosses, as well as crystals for all the bosses. And even if you've been really pushing for this, you might for some reason have some concentrated Auras, but probably not as many of those. Either way, you probably have a ton of these in your storages, and I am happy to tell you that if you head over to your storages, wherever you've been saving them, you'll notice that it'll be reduced by a ton because they've all been condensed down into singular items. Now, all of mine used to be in Calpheon, and these are all of the slots that I used to use. They've actually all found their way over to Heidel, so if you can't find yours, check the Heidel storage. And in here, you should see tons of your latent boss auras now, so you can see them all right here, as well as all the different things you can exchange for, which is nice. And you can see your concentrated boss crystals as well hanging out here. So again, if you're struggling to find any of these items, check your Heidel storage. Uh, but otherwise, uh, those have all been condensed down, which is nice for your inventory space. Additionally, the reform stones for the pen boss gear have also been condensed down into just a weapon and an armor reform stone, made it a little bit easier on that for inventory management purposes. The items to craft those reform stones have also been simplified again because of the simplified components, and just all in all, overall improvements to the uh, inventory space that you need to keep control of here in Black Desert, so you can get a couple contribution points back from your storages if you want now and uh, save those up. But then getting into the next actual like really big change here, we have an Imperial Steed Breeding Chance improvement. So. For breeding two level 30 tier 8 horses together, the chance of creating an Imperial Steed has been increased by 1.6 times. For those of you that don't know what an Imperial Steed is, it is a horse that you level it up to level 15. At level 15, you exchange it for a ton of rewards. So 120 million silver plus Mythical Feathers, Flowers of Oblivion, Royal Fern Roots, Stonetail Fodder, Spear Pouch of Ferocious Beast, Pure Forest, Breath, Rainbow Gem Fruit, Breezy Conscious Seaweed, Deep Blue Hoof Roots, Wind Spirit Stone Fragments, Earth Spirit Stone Fragments, Water Spirit Stone Fragments, and the Golden Seals of Imperial Training. So it's basically a bunch of stuff that you need for upgrading your coursers, and you get it with a higher rate now while breeding. So nice little little bonus there for those who did into horse breeding. A um, little improvement to that side. Now the next major change that came with this patch is the auto move all to storage function that's been added into the game. So to show you how that one works, if you go up to your storage here, and let's just say I'm going to take out five of those from that storage, and let's go to my Serendia storage and take out, I don't know, five of those. So you can see in my inventory here, I'm at 98 items, and if I hit auto move to all, it should move all these different items, and it shows you where they're going to go, which is really cool. So those five seals will go there. Ialton will take those, Napamoodle's will just got some items, so Drax will take some, and you can just get all of your stuff out of your storage now, which is fantastic. Super, super awesome quality of life improvement. Again, uh, this is nice because of the Magnus update, so if you haven't done the Magnus quest line, definitely want to do that here in Black Desert to unlock all these linked storages, but nice quality of life improvement there. There's also a storage history button in the UI that you can access now. So if you go back into the storage here, you can see view storage history and see all the different items that you've withdrawn and moved around. So um, I guess that's neat. It shows you, for example, you can see that all my workers have been making these boxes over here, taking stuff out of storage. Um, nice little, I guess, tracking thing to try and find where items went. Moving on a bit further into the patch notes here, we have a change to where you can report people's chats in the chat. So, so using my own guild is a bit of a guinea pig right here. <laughs> if I go ahead and click on one of my members, I can hit the report chat function and you can type in while you're reporting somebody. So, so pretty neat little function if you've been having to deal with people in chat that are misbehaving or something like that. And then the final thing right here is an improvement to the loading speed, but not when you're logging into the game or logging out of the game. So I don't know what loading speeds have been improved, but we've got loading speed improvements. Other than that, nothing else too crazy with this patch, and that is going to do it for today's video. So now you're going to let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Excited for any of the events, excited for any of the changes. Um, let me know down below. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video, the next Twitch live stream, or wherever I happen to see you. Dice.